All right, man. Jojo Diaz went to Twitter, and I'll link all this in the description or the source links. Everything you hear me talking about, saying that Tevin Farmer lowballed him on an offer to fight. And um, he said that he ain't turned down the offer. I'm paraphrasing here. But um, long story short, it was below market value. Tevin Farmer clapped back and said that he had to go overseas and fight for his first title for 50000 and he knew that the risk will outweigh, you know, out, or the reward outweighed the risk, whatever he said. And uh, he told JoJo is food for thought. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Now, I, sh I do think JoJo should go ahead. I don't know the offer, but I do think JoJo should go ahead and beat up on Tevin Farmer. I think that's easy work for him. All right. But, you know, Tevin Farmer is thinking like he, he think he really he really think he Floyd Mayweather or something like that. And and I feel what Jojo Diaz is saying. You see the 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 zone throwing all this money out. Last night it was almost fifty million dollars in the ring, forty seven million dollars between Kovalev and uh, Canelo Alvarez. All right, and you telling me I y'all just can't give me what I'm worth? You know what I'm saying? So that's something to think about. Now, Tevin Farmer said a few weeks ago that he was uh, signing his uh, his new deal with the Zone or whoever match room. So I'm not sure if he ever signed that deal, but at the end of the day, he must be stopped, all right? You know, at the end of the day, he going around thinking like like he God's gift to, to the boxing world. And he th he in his own zone. And I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I fuck with the come up, you know what I'm saying? He a guy that wasn't supposed to be here, a guy that lost a few, uh, few fights early on, a guy that worked his way back up. It's about who you know, uh, not what you know all the time. He know Lou DiBella. Lou DiBella got an outstanding relationship with the IBF. Lou DeBella is that New York, New Jersey, uh, you know, pretty much area promoter. The IBF is 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 in uh, Jersey, and uh, he got Derbachenko two cracks at an IBF title in in around twelve uh, less than twelve months or right around that, and he got Tim Farmer IBF title shots um, twice. He he lost his, I think he lost to uh, to the uh, the other the, China, the Asian guy. The Asian guy pop pop came back and fought. Fought Billy Dibbs, all right? But at the end of the day, he never wanted the JoJo Diaz fight, all right? He want to keep beating up on them, these these unknown IBF mandatories they got we never heard of. He want to keep beating them up and patting his pockets. And who wouldn't? Pretty much the majority of the boxers are doing uh, what Tevin Farmer is trying to do, but they doing it on a grander scale. You know what I'm saying? Tevin Farmer is absolutely fighting nobody's. And if I'm the zone, why would I want to keep Tevin Farmer... On my platform, why well, I don't want to keep paying Tevin Farmer five hundred thousand, and he barely can he he barely or rarely a headline. That's the question. You know what I'm saying? Tevin Farmer ain't bringing no people to the zone. He might bring a few people in Philly, but ain't nobody checking for Tevin Farmer. You know what I'm saying? And I knew he was gonna try to lowball and get out the JoJo Diaz fight. And the proposed date was January thirty first. I believe that's two days before the Super Bowl in Miami, where the Super Bowl is taking place this year. So. There was going to be, you know, Jojo Diaz, Tevin Farmer headlining. I think uh, Juan Estrada and um, I think uh, Kale Yaffe was going to fight. And it was another card that they was trying to do. But apparently Jojo Diaz didn't like the offer. Um, but if I'm Jojo, I'll take it, man. Because at the end of the day, if you feel you're going to beat Tevin Farmer, you should take the offer. You know, once you get the belt, then you know the reward is going to be great. But at the same time, they were supposed to fight in December. And Jojo... Had a hand injury, and um, now he just really now coming back to start sparring. But unfortunately, you know, Tevin Farmer gonna get what he got coming to you, to him. He gonna fight a un he gonna somebody they gonna order a mandatory, and he ain't gonna see that ass whooping coming. That's what's gonna boil down to. They gonna order a mandatory. It's gonna be some unknown dude that beat Tevin Farmer. At the end of the day, you know, he was str he was struggling a little bit with James Tennyson going a distance with Juno Carroll. Like, you no, know, Jojo Diaz is the superior fighter, and Tevin know that. And the zone know that. You know what I'm saying? Or Eddie Hearn and Matchroom know that. You know, and Tevin just want to keep, you know, padding his pockets. But for Jojo Diaz, who else can you fight? Who else can you fight on the zone? You can fight Casino, but you're going to have to work. Oh, that's what I call him, dude that beat uh, Albert Machado. You can fight him, but the whole thing about him, you got to wait till we get upgraded to Super WBA champion, which shouldn't be too long. So he get upgraded to Super WBA champion, right? I would do that and, and fight him. And then trying to revisit the Tevin Farmer fight 
for a unification bout. But then again, they may not give you a fair offer then too. But people, you know, Tevin, Tevin Farmer, one of these dudes that walk around like he want to fight people, but he don't want to fight nobody. He's legitimately never beat anybody in his career. Billy Dib was way past his prime. You know, he was done after the Mexican-Russian beat him up. And now, you know, Tevin Farmer is out here calling out Miguel Burchett. Now, I didn't watch the Miguel Burchett fight, but um, i seen some comments on it. He ended up beating Jason Sosa. Now, Tevin Farmer said he had 5K on Jason Sosa to win. And I guarantee you, had Jason Sosa won, they probably would have had an offer on the table uh, for Sosa and Tevin Farmer to fight, which everybody that knew anything about boxing knew Jason Sosa wasn't going to win that fight. Uh, last night, you know, what I'm saying? I believe they fought on ESPN Plus or whatever it was, wherever they fought at. I don't know, but everybody knew that Jason Sosa was gonna uh, gonna lose that fight. But he talking about giving me Miguel Burchett, motherfucker, you scared to fight JoJo Diaz? You know, I think you know Miguel Burchett is a, just a slightly better fighter because he got a, he got a title, but you scared to fight JoJo Diaz? You know what I'm saying? He goes on Max on boxing, saying the politics of boxing. It's stopping him from unifying. Bruh, you already pulled out a tank fight on the McGregor Mayweather undercard. You ducking JoJo Diaz. I, be, be, I don't believe you'll fight Miguel Burchett neither. So, you know, just save us. Just be quiet, fade into the black, and just keep getting your money and padding your stats. Everybody knows Tev Tank going to knock you out. Everybody knows JoJo Diaz will probably knock you out too. Everybody knows Matt Miguel Burchett will knock you out. Just keep taking them soft touches. You know what I'm saying? Keep, you know, building your title defenses up. Ain't nobody really mad at them because we know you're not supposed to be here. But you going on social media acting like you a shot caller and, oh, I had to struggle. That's what you had to do to come up, nigga. <laughs> That's what you had to do. Ain't nobody ain't nobody tell you not to be able to punch. Or ain't nobody tell you to, to get stopped a few times early on in your career. You know what I'm saying? All that money Eddie Hearn in the zone got and y'all around here throwing lowball offers. He trying to, you know, he trying to put his, you know, oh, I had to struggle and this and that and this and that. Like, okay, we get it, bro. At the end of the day, do you want to fight JoJo or not? You don't. We know you don't. Because you, your team, your manager, they all know that's the L. You know, just say, just be like Leo Santa Cruz and duck in silence. Leo Santa Cruz ain't all on social media. Leo Santa Cruz ain't tweeting every two seconds. Like, you would think this dude was really with the shit, but he not. You know, he going around acting like he, like, oh, nobody gave me an opportunity and I had to earn my, yeah, you had to earn your, I mean, nigga, you lost like three of your first 10 fights. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You a champion. Look who you fighting. You giving Juno Carroll, James Tennyson, some Grimo, some Grimo got an opportunity. What did they do to earn the fight? Huh? What did Juno Carroll do to earn, earn the title shot, bro? You know what I'm saying? What did Juno Carroll do that, that that Jojo Diaz ain't did? Be sorry? Be beatable? And you still couldn't even knock fucking uh, James Tennyson out, dude. I mean, I mean, Jono Carroll, Jono Carroll out. You couldn't knock that dude out, man. That a fucking joke. I mean, he making Philly look bad, man. You know what I'm saying? He making Philly. He ain't trying to fight nobody, dog. We all know he's a joke. You know? But hey, ain't nothing pretty much JoJo can do. Either take the offer or not take the offer. But where, you mean you got to wait for the other dude, Casico, whatever his name is, to get a title shot. Wait to fight him. You know, it, it, is your next? You gonna be fighting on Facebook Watch? Or are you gonna be making the same amount of money to fight Tevin Farmer? You might as well fight Tevin Farmer. You gonna win? You gonna win? Sacrifice now, feast later. That I will take the fight, man. Fuck all that. I take the fight, whatever it is. Beat his ass, you know, spit on him after the fight. Don't shake his hand. Shit, I might whip my shit, I'm pissing his face. All right? That's what it is. I'll take his title. But if Jojo Diaz choose to take the fight, guess what? It's going to be some more talk. Well, you know, uh, you know, we we, we we got injured or whatever. So you already know what it's going to be. But, hey, it's good, fellas, Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And don't forget, we on all social media. Email in the description if you need to reach out. All the source links and posts that I talked about is in the uh, description on the source links. Goodfellow Sports TV, CJ Goodfellow, one time for the one time. We gone.